Hello and welcome. Over the next couple of sessions, we are going to look at uh, how to install a, a Bootstrap theme and create a sub-theme for it. Bootstrap's theme is one of the uh, popular HTML and CSS framework for developing responsive and mobile-first projects on the web. And Bootstrap is available for Drupal as well. So go, if you go to Drupal and the projects, you type Bootstrap, you'll get to this page. The good thing about um, Bootstrap is because it is a framework, it has some extra features like it has breadcrumbs, nav navigation bars, and popovers, tooltips, and all that. Bootstrap is available for Drupal 8. Let us install that. Right click, copy link, and go to your site, extend, install new module as usual and uh, type in the paste in the code and install so bootstrap is uh, installing and install newly added themes as you can see now you can make it uh, install and set as default this is our default Bartik theme at the moment so let us apply the bootstrap theme so make it as uh, set as default now Bootstrap is our de default theme. So let's see how it looks like. So go back to the site and refresh it. So that is the Bootstrap theme now applied. See all these things changed? Very good. Now let us have a closer look at what is available in Bootstrap. Go back there and go under Settings. You can do many settings under Bootstrap. You can uh, set the buttons, different buttons, you can have different containers, you can have a fluid container, that means you can decide whether the text should take up the entire screen or only in the middle or something like that. And various forms, images, you can have the images of uh, it is responsive images with responsive class, you can have the rounded images, default, circle, whatever can have various components, bread, breadcrumb visible or not, navigation bar, and uh, regions, JavaScript, you can have uh, popover, tooltips and all that. All of this you can just experiment and see what it can do. We go to advanced. One of the good things about Bootstrap theme, it, it comes with the built-in themes, quite a few of them. Say for example, Cerulean, what does Cerulean look like? That is how Cerulean look like. At the moment our site look like this. The default look of Bootstrap. Let us change to Cerulean and save it. That is saved. Let us go back and refresh this page. Something should change. Let us refresh that page. As you notice maybe nothing changed. The reason is you have to clear the cache. Go under configuration and performance it is better clear to clear the cache all right cache is cleared and uh, in the in the test area it's also a good idea to uncheck these two and save configuration and go back to this site you can see now the cerulean is now applied so we can change uh, we can test another one say for example we can test uh, advanced Try a different uh, theme, for example, let's say one of them, say darkly, so it's all pretty dark. Save configuration, so we just apply darkly and just see how it looks. Just refresh the page, see, now the page is now using darkly theme. So the good thing about um, Bootstrap theme is you can uh, configure many things buttons, containers, forms, images, uh, javascripts and components, various things you can control. That is what uh, Bootstrap theme all about. In the next session we will be applying a sub theme for the Bootstrap. Applying a sub theme is recommended if you want to make your own changes at the same time using a commercial theme. In the next session we will look at how to apply a sub theme. Right? Thank you for watching.